I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Mahjong competition rules. Mahjong competition rules is relatively new to the Mahjong community and it's very challenging. There are 81 scoring elements. If you want to know more, look for a link in the video description below so you can learn the fundamentals and download this player reference. In here are all those scoring elements. On the back are instructions for how to set up the game, play and score. In this game of solitaire, I want to focus on chows or the quickest win possible. Really, you should try to play the quickest win possible regardless, but sometimes I get a little tempted to go for big hands. So let's see if we could do either chows, which typically can be a pretty quick developing hand or just speed to mahjong. If a hand is set up for pungs, we'll go for pungs. Otherwise, we'll focus on chows. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. We're going to say that it is the east round. I'll deal the tiles, 14 to east, 13 to the rest of the players. Then we'll look at each player's hand, see where the strengths lie. We'll plan for the quickest win possible, but see if we can focus on some chow opportunities. Everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for player one, also known as East. For this player, we have one, two, three, four pair. That is a nice setup for all Pung. All Pung, Dragon Pung. Maybe Void of Suit. Terminal Pung. So that would be all Pung, number 49, six fawn, Dragon Pung. Fifty-nine, two points, Terminal Pung, number 73, one point, Voided Suit, number 75, one point. All we need is another pair. We'll see what happens. Let's start by discarding here. This would be the quick win route. All Pung. All Pung, Dragon Pung, Terminal Pung. Pungs. No chows. For now, anyway. Let's see what we can do for player two, also known as South. Okay, for this one, we do have two pair mixed suits, isolated tiles. All these are isolated. Potential Pung, potential Chow, potential Chow, potential Pung. That's just seven tiles. Another thing I was thinking about though for this player would be lesser honors and knitted tiles. We have three honors. Here's two five, three nine, one four seven. So one four seven, two five eight, three six nine. Lesser honors and knitted tiles. That would be number thirty four, and that's twelve fawn. Lesser honors and knitted tiles. Each suit represented one four seven, three six nine, two five eight. So let's just wait and see. Let's get rid of, let's just see about outside hand potential here. We do have threes, which could connect to a one, two, three, a nine, a two, nine, here's a nine, two, and sevens. We're really light on the terminals though, so I don't think I would consider outside hand here. We have only two pairs, so I wouldn't consider all Pung. 
I think lesser honors and knitted tiles might be the best way to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tiles. Eight tiles. We'd have to sacrifice a pair of sevens and actually break up a pair. Let's see if we could play lesser honors and knitted tiles or half flush with bams or maybe all pung if we pair up. Let's discard this nine dot first. But plan A, let's see if we can do lesser honors and knitted tiles. No chow here. Those are all singles. So let's see what we can do now for west. Wow, they have a nice setup for a half flush. We could chow here, here, four, five, six, four, five, six, pure double chow. That's a scoring element or a fawn, synonymous. A fawn is a scoring element. So four, five, six, pure, pure double chow. Pure double chow is number 69. That's one, one point. This is West Seat. We have a pair of West Winds. We'd get two points there. Half Flush is six points. Half Flush is number 50. Six points. Let's get rid of these. See about a Half Flush. And we'll see if we can chow. We're going to need tiles here for the nine. Or pair up these honors. This effort is going to be Half Flush. Maybe some chows. We could also Pung. One, two, three pair. We could pung all those. Maybe. All pung. Six points. That's number 49. Okay, let's see what we can do for north. They have a flower. Okay, we have some chow potential here. Three, four, we've got threes, two, five, five, six. I think we could maybe do all simples and chows. Two through eight would be all simples. And maybe we can do something with little numbers. We'll see. We have a lot of three, four, three, two, two, five. We have a pair of fives here. I was thinking we could do maybe lower four but we'd have to sacrifice a pair of fives lower four is number 37 and that is 12 points let's start though by discarding the green dragon and then maybe the nines we do have a potential chow there we have a nine and an eight there is a scoring element or fawn called Mixed triple chow, number 41, and that is eight points. We're really light, though, in the cracks and bam. So let's discard green dragon and see what happens. So we're going to start by discarding here. One bam. And nobody can take it, so we're going to draw. Three dot. We want two, uh, one, four, seven here. One, four, seven. 258369 or BAMs. So let's get rid of these. Oh look, here's here's 369 potential there. We could do 369 here and one uh 147 here. 369. Let's discard the three crack. We have options. We can do 369 in dots or 369 in cracks, 147 in either. So let's just see what happens. We have some flexibility there. Three crack. Nobody can take it. We got a bam. Half flush. Even though it's isolated, maybe we could use it for a pair or draw more bams. Let's get rid of one crack. We're going to keep the honors. Even though they're singles, if we can pair up and pung, we can get to that half flush. So one crack was discarded. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw. 
8 band. That's a simple 2 through 8. If we're thinking about doing all simples, let's keep it. We actually have all the 8s now, including there's a 7, 8, 7, 8, 9 potential in two suits, and we have an 8. Let's go ahead and discard Green Dragon. Maybe we can do mixed triple chow here. If we can get a 7 crack or a 9 crack, mixed triple chow. Okay, Green Dragon. Let's draw. South. We're thinking all Pung. Let's get rid of 3 Bam. It would be this player's turn. They wouldn't be able to take a 3 Bam. Here, you can't chow from the player across from you. Here, we have a potential Pung up here. If we Pung, we still need a Pung and a Pair. And that is a simple. We could do all Pung, all simple if we pair up, but I think a mixed triple chow might be good if we get a seven or nine crack. Even still, we could use a Pung of simples. So let's go ahead and Pung. So this would be from the player on our right, east. So we punged here. We're maybe thinking 789, 789, 789. Here's a pair. We have a pung out. So we really don't need these tiles here at all. Because one block is out. Here's two, three, four, five. We've got all the tiles we need, we just need to build them up. So this is a bit risky because this is really light. So let's get rid of the six dot. Because if this falls through, we can go to little numbers. Or all simples and get rid of the nines. We'll see. It's a risk. So six dot was discarded. Let's draw green dragon. That could help get to a half flush if we pair up. There's already a green dragon out. We could maybe even sacrifice the ones and go for a half flush. Let's discard this eight dot. We don't need to sacrifice that yet. Eight dot, nobody can take it, so we'll draw. Five crack. So we have a two five here. One four seven two five eight three six nine. Three six nine. One four seven. Three six nine one four seven. Let's stick with it and get rid of seven bam. Let's see if we can force lesser honors and knitted tiles. We'll give ourselves options. 7 bam, here, we can chow. Let's chow, because we could maybe have a chow there or there. We'll go for half flesh, pung a seat wind. That's eight points. So we're going to chow from the player on our left. We'll discard seven dot. Up here we can chow. Now we have to really make a decision. This is gonna be risky because we're really light here. Let's try it. Seven dot, chow. We're going for a mixed triple chow. There's a pair, we can discard that. Chow here, chow here. We have a pair there, we can chow here. So let's discard two dot. We need one tile here to make this work, but this is really risky because we only have one tile. So two dot was discarded, we'll draw. Seven dot. North, 
that's a single honor that can help get to lesser honors and knitted tiles so now we have to decide we have three nine three nine and two suits four seven one four seven two five eight let's get rid of seven bam and focus two five eight here we need an eight bam and then here we can get rid of this five we can do one four seven or three six nine in either of these suits okay seven bam chow there's a pure double chow so let's plan our pair to be a number tile so let's discard south that won't bring us any value if we pair up the dragon we could maybe get another two points so let's hold that for a little while south was discarded nobody can take it so we'll draw for north one dot we need a seven crack or nine crack so there's a one dot down here we need to decide we are ready to pung here and we have no chow potential with the remaining cracks so let's go ahead and go with pungs let's pung so this would be the player on our left north discarded the one we're going to pung and it's okay to mix suits we even have avoided suit we have no bams green dragon was thrown so was a south let's discard south four these are all singles we don't need any pairs we really don't need the five either let's go ahead and discard that because we're focusing on two five eight here five crack nobody can take it so we'll draw west we have a concealed pung there let's get rid of north Okay, these are singles. We need help. We need to be able to chow or pung. So we got to either pair up or draw in chow potential. So here we discarded a north. So we're going to draw flower. We need a seven or a nine crack. Two crack. That's our pair. This is not helpful. We've got to have this. Otherwise, we have no value. Actually, what about a chicken hand? Oh, we have no honors. No honors is a point, so that won't work. Unless we get a pair of honors. We have a pung, a chow. We have all the suits. If we... One, two three four pair no honors if we can get a pair of honors in here mm, that would be a chicken hand a chicken hand is number 43 and it's eight points four puns or chows in a pair that has no score no value actually yeah we have a pung We have a pung, a chow in two different suits. Here's a chow, a chow and a pair. We have no honors though. Let's see here. There's, what about all types? You've got to really make sure that you have no other score. All types is when you have four pungs or chows in a pair where each set represents a different type of tile dots bams cracks winds and dragons so if we get a pair of winds or dragons that would not be all types so we're kind of at a a standstill at the moment i think we should i think we should try for mixed triple chow still i think we're closer to that let's oh this is painful let's discard two crack oh i hope i don't regret that 
Okay, let's draw. Green dragon. Oh, we could pung those. Let's throw the east. Nobody can take it. Eight bam. <gasps> 258. There we go. 258. Single honors. 258. 369. I think we have to make a choice. Well, you know what? We don't need this four dot. Let's get rid of that. Now there's a pung of one dots out. Maybe this should be the discard. These should be the 369. And this should be the 147 because the ones are out. There's only one more one dot. We'll see. So four dot was thrown. Let's draw. Seven dot. We need a seven crack or nine crack. Five crack. Oh no, look. Three, four, five. Oh shoot. Do we push for a chicken hand now? Because we have no seven or nine. We have no seven or nine, but we have no wind or dragon either. <sighs> either way, we're two away. Maybe a chicken hand would be better. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's do this. Let's keep this and discard the five because of this weakness. Let's see if we can switch to a chicken hand. Five dot. Okay. <laughs> we need a wind or a dragon to pair up. And then we would be ready on a chicken hand. So let's draw. North. Nobody can take it. North. We don't need pairs. We need singles. North. Last tile, second wall. South. That's out. Flower. Okay, we need a wind or a dragon. We got a wind. Okay, now let's discard five dot. Since we have no dragon, that will not qualify for all types. We have a pung and a chow in different suits. So I think this would qualify as a chicken hand. We need a seven bam and be ready to win on an east. We threw a five dot, three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, we're ready to go. We're, we're one away from a chicken hand here. Let's draw seven bam. Two, five, eight, nothing here. Okay, here we go. Flower, six bam, nope. Don't need that. Two dot. We really need bams or pair up the white dragon. Two dot. Nobody can take it. So we're going to draw. We need a seven bam or an eight crack or an east. Two dot. I don't think any of this is going to help us right now. Let's discard two dot. We're trying for a chicken hand. Let's draw nine dot. Three dot, we need singles. Three dot. Nine crack. Four dot. Four dot. Eight bam. We've already got it. Oh, 
there we go. There's a potential chow right there. Okay, let's get rid of the white dragon. Single honor is not helpful. We can chow here and be ready to win on a pair. Single weight. No nine bams are out. No four bams are out either. There's a pung of three bams out, so this is a bit risky. Let's draw. Two crack. Oh, look at two, three, four. We got it back. We need that pair of ease. This eight is isolated. Let's discard the eight crack. Eight crack. Okay, down here, we can pung. Pung from north. We need to pung these dragons for value. Let's discard one crack. And nobody can take it. Nine crack. We don't need pairs. Four bam. Okay, look at pair fours. We'll discard nine bam. And they are ready to win on a three bam. There's one left. And that would be for a half flush, pure double pung, seat win pung. Nine crack. Let's draw. Red dragon. See, now this would be all types. If we pair up and pung or pair up one of those and pung, that would be all types. So we don't want that red or the east, which is out. I think there's an east out. Let's keep the dragon and discard the east. Okay, because we need to pair up. So, and there's a f only four of every tile. So let's draw four east. Two dot. Two crack. One, uh, one, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine. We don't need a two crack. Nobody can take it. Kong. We have a concealed Kong here, so we'll display it thusly. And take a replacement tile. Let's hope for a three ban. Win on replacement. No, south. Okay, south. We need a three ban there. Seven crack. Oh, it came in. Oh, oh, that's painful. Seven crack. All right, here we go. Six dot. These are concealed. We got to draw. Flower. Six bam. No. Three dot, wrong suit. Pair, pair, chow. We have two, we have a chow and a pung out. One, two, three, four. We need a pair. Pair, we don't need this pair. We need the pair here because we need a chicken hand. We don't need that. We already have a chow. We need to pair here and we need to chow here because if we get rid of this red dragon, we'll have no honors. That's a scoring element. Chicken hand can have no value. We have to sacrifice something. We could do two, three, four and get rid of two, five. I think both of these have been discarded. Threes are out, twos out, five crack is out. Either way, I don't think anybody wants them. So let's just discard two crack. Drawing down here. Flower. Seven dot.
8 dot. No, we have 258 right there. Flower. We need a 3 bam. We got a 1 bam. Okay, now this is better because there are three three bams out. Now we're on a double weight. We could win on either a one bam or a four bam. Now we would be giving up an edge weight. You don't get any score for double weight, but our chances of getting that, that three bam are slim. No four bams are out and, only, and one one bam is out. There's one more one bam and two more four bams. So we have three chances at a tile versus one chance at a tile. Let's discard two bam. Double weight. Here we go. Nine bam. Okay. You know what? We could maybe pung and then be ready to win on a red dragon pair. You know what though? That's a single weight. Single weight is a, is a point. We're in trouble. We can't, I don't think we could win unless we, unless we draw it and then have our weight be a pung. That's the only way we can do it because your weight could bring you value. If we're waiting to win on a red dragon, that's called a single weight and that's a point. So we have to be able to draw the red dragon and be waiting on a pung. So let's discard two crack. Because even if we wait on a seven bam, that's an edge weight and that's also a point. We need to get rid of that right there. And we need to be waiting on a pung. This is really precise. Winning on a chicken hand is harder than I thought. Let's discard two crack. And I think it's hard because there are 81 scoring elements. So planning your hand to not have any of those scoring elements, well, really chicken hand is one. So all the other 80 cannot be part of that hand. So I think a chicken hand is hard for Mahjong competition rules. I think it should be more than eight points. Okay, so here we're going to draw. Six dot, that's the third one, second one. Okay, second one out. So we're, nope, that's the third one. We need a three, six, nine here. All right, it's getting really tight for this player because the ones are out and the sixes are out. So we'll see, let's draw. We got a seven crack, one, four, seven. Okay, that's a keeper. So three, six, nine, one, four, seven discards, one, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine. Let's discard four dot. They're two away from lesser honors and knitted tiles. Let's draw white dragon. We threw that a while ago. That's too bad. Nobody can take it. Now we need a we need a red dragon. Four bam. None are out. No eight bams are no, there's an eight bam out also. Let's throw the eight bam. Because that would give us an edge weight. That's gonna have to go too. We're in the end of the middle game at the moment. No red dragons are out right now. So this is possible up here for a chicken hand. Let's draw. Three crack. We do not have a half flush going for us here. We have a pung of one dots out. We need to pung. Let's discard three crack. Because we did have a chow in there. But we have a pung of white one dots. Three crack was thrown. Five dot. We need that six dot badly. Six dot, that's the last one. This hand is no longer viable. We need to either play defense or switch to half flush with cracks because the six dots are gone. 
these are all discards now. Four, four. Okay. So this player discarded a six dot and destroyed their lesser honors and knitted tiles. There's not enough time to get one, four, seven here, and all the ones are out. Well, all but one. Let's draw. Seven, bam. That bam came in. Okay, now this is a safe discard. Let's discard four bam before we get to the end game. And that actually would be mahjong for this player. Pair. And we won from the player on our right. Let's see. Let me put that here. I guess we could put it there. And then here's a pair. We have a Kong. Double Pung and a flower. Half flesh. This player threw it. They were one away from a chicken hand. They needed to pung, but the dragon was here. This player may not have been able to make it because of this, and their hand went d dead. So here we have half flush. Half flush is number 50, six points. Then we have a Kong, concealed Kong of Seatwin. Concealed Kong is number 67, that's two points. So that's eight. We also have our seat, a Kong of our seat win. That's number 61, two points. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we have a pure double chow, the number 69 for one point. So six for half flesh. We had a double weight. We won't get anything for the weight. So six points for half flesh, two points for a concealed Kong, two points for the seat. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and the flower, twelve. I believe that's it. So these two players would pay twelve. This player would pay twelve plus eight. So that'd be 20, 20 points from this player. Chicken hands are hard. You know, when you play Hong Kong Mahjong, chicken hands are really easy. And if you're playing at a zero point table, someone could whip out a chicken hand and just slay your big hand. But for Mahjong competition rules, because of all the scoring elements, chicken hands are very challenging. Also, the other thing that I have noticed over time is that a half flush with a valued honor is a pretty quick win if you're set up for it with your dealt hand. That's what took the win for this game. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Mahjong competition rules, may all your picks be keepers.